Alrighty, welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft. We are in a Vintage Cube Draft League here today, and we've opened an Entomb. You'd never hate to see that. I like Vamp to go with Entomb, but Entomb is in the top five black cards, closer to the top than the bottom. Uh, I mean, it's competing with, like, Demonic Tutor, I think Orcish Bowmasters, then Thoughtseize, then DT, then Entomb, something along those, but Animate Deads also probably rounds out the top five. Either way. We're going to be starting with Entomb, probably not wheeling anything, though it's worth noting there's a Thespian stage in the pack, and seeing where we go from here. Well, I like Force of Will more than Duress, but after starting with Entomb, we're just going to take a Duress here. I do love that start, and pass on Dismember and Fatal Push. Hopefully one of those comes back. Well, Dismember shouldn't because it's colorless, but Black doesn't usually have the hardest time finding ways to kill creatures, so taking a Hand Disruption I think is a little more important. And ooh, there's a Dark Ritual, plus there's Yogwell in the pack. So if I take Dark Ritual, let's see. Echo, Gideon, Cathar Commando, Lotus Petal, Fire Covenant, Windswept Teeth. Yeah, there's a chance that Yogwell wheels. There's also a chance Thopter Foundry wheels if I care about that. Uh, maybe this time I'll remember that it's gone. <laughs> uh, here, whoa, this is a good pack too. Fourth pick, there's still an Urza Saga, a Wasteland, a Pest Infestation, and a Flash. But I'm going to take Flash. We are so set up to be a Flash deck. Both in Tomb and Flash want the same thing, which is just gigantic creatures. And uh, very happy to take that over Corpse Dance. So keeping that in mind. Mm, this pack has nothing to bring back. There's a Contagion, which is a decent sideboard card. Give two creatures a minus two, minus one counter. Very weird card, for sure. And there's Tenacious Underdog. I think Underdog is just a weak card, so I'm going to take Contagion, even though I'm not like super stoked about it or anything. This pack has Bayou. Any sort of black duel is worth considering. It's got Cabal Ritual, which is kind of nice. Once you have Dark Ritual, picking up Cabal Ritual could lead you down a nice Yogwell path. Um, let's see, if I take Bayou... Will Cabal Ritual wheel? There's a chance. It's, it's tough because if I end up in really heavy black, Cabal Ritual could be better. But if I end up splashing it all, Bayou is better. I think I will take the Bayou here. Oh, wow. Now there's LED and Tendrils. Whew. I think I'm going to take the LED here. Now I wish I took the Cabal Ritual, I guess. But um, unfortunately, we're not going to get Tendrils back. I think we're going to get Sakura Tribe Scout back. But I'm still just going to take the LED. Maybe that Echo Vions comes back. And then now... There's Tameshi, which kind of works with LED. You can pay one, return a land, get LED back to your hand. But what do you do at the end of all that? <laughs> you don't really have somewhere to go. Snapcaster is decent, but I think I might just Memory Jar here. This looks like a pretty nice start to a Memory Jar deck. Like, we're actually drafting Storm combos, kind of where, where it's going. If this Yogwell comes back, I'll be pretty happy. If this Cabal Ritual comes back, well, it's kind of the, the thing where if the Yogwell comes back, I'll want the Cabal Ritual to come back, but otherwise, maybe not. Okay, Thespian Stage wheeled, but I'm kind of thinking we're in turnabout space now. Maybe High Tide, all that stuff. I think I like that over Thought Scour. Just mana generation is, is so important. Actually, I'm going to move one more over because there's a memory jar hiding, waiting in the wings here. All right. And we still have the Flash and Tomb part of the deck, but. We're building on the storm combo part, and maybe we end up getting there. Okay, and here, oh, chart a course versus fatal push. I think, given where we're at, I'm going to take chart a course. It just it enables reanimate stuff. It helps your storm combo go, and I don't look like killing their creatures is the highest priority. It looks like I'm doing a little bit more of an unfair thing, but these next couple of picks will really determine how how likely it is that we get to do that. Oh, Yogwell came back. Okay. There was a Fire Covenant still in the pack too, but yeah, we're, we're Yogg-willing here. All right, now that we've gotten the yogg -will back, I regret taking Bayou over Cabal Ritual, unless I get both, and then I get Fast Spawn, in which case I'd be very happy. I mean, there's a world where we get a Cabal Ritual and a Tendril still out of this pack, which would be a crazy start to have Ritual, LED, yogg -will, Cabal Ritual Tendrils, but we'll, we'll see. We also have the start to a very good Reanimator deck, and we have a Turnabout and a Jar. I actually think this is an awesome pack one. We've got a lot of potential coming from here. Um, I guess I should probably still just take Corpse Dance here. It feels like that is the, the sort of thing I'm going to get into. Oh, Tenacious Underdog, Molten Collapse. I guess Cabal Ritual didn't come back. That's a shame. Oh, Jace Wielder Mysteries is not a zero. 
Last pick, Tendrils, 15th pick. We can do it. We can do it. Uh, Jace Wilder Mysteries gives us a Doomsday Win Conditions. Oh, we got a last pick, Tendrils. Okay, so I'm really sad I passed Bayou or Cabal Ritual for Bayou here, but I still think this is a, a pretty incredible start. So let's see, uh, let's see if we can follow up here. You know, I wouldn't complain if I opened a Black Lotus. Let's just put it that way. But uh, even without that, there's a lot we could open. Okay, and here we have Teleron Academy Time Spiral Library. Unfortunately, as much as I love Academy, this is a Time Spiral pick here. I just don't have uh, any artifacts. I have all lines. I diamond in a memory jar. So we'll take in Time Spiral and not really hoping to wheel too much. But now that we have Turnabout and Time Spiral, we're very much on the lookout for High Tide. Oh, and here's an Animate Dead. Yeah, I'm still going to take Animate Dead here over Mystic Confluence. When I just have Entomb and Dark Ritual in my deck, then I feel like Animate Dead has got to be a good thing to take. I haven't seen any of the big creatures, but at some point we probably will. Here we've got a Steam Vents, doesn't do much, a Verdant, which could do something, and a Deluge. I'm going to take Verdant because wanting blue-black sources for High Tide is really important. And I don't even have a red card yet for Steam Vents. I might just be straight blue-black here. All right, this pack uh, doesn't really have any cards I want. I might just take Shark Typhoon. I, I'm just not going to play any. I'm not going to play a Worm Coil here. Ophiomancer. I guess Ophiomancer is kind of a sideboard card against Aggro. Sure, I'll, I'll put that in my sideboard. I have a Contagion of Molten Claps and Ophiomancer if I really need to. <laughs> Mm, what are we looking for? Lotus Petal is actually a pretty nice pick. Frantic Search. We know Echo Vions is gone, sadly. Obviously, any big creature would be really nice. I'm not really that happy to be third picking or fourth picking Ophiomancers here. But taking a Time Spiral into Animate Dead into Verdant was not a bad start. It's just that Ophiomancer threw a wrench into it. A fly in the ointment, if you will. Oh, this is a nice pack. Because on the one hand, or on, to, to start with, we get a one ring, which is a great card to like ritual out. And I think we're going to wheel Reign of Filth. Makes all my lands sack for a black. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would be pretty surprised if Reign of Filth didn't come back. Oh, and there's Doomsday. Oh, but there's also Torsten. But this is not actually that good of a Torsten deck. No, I'm going to take Doomsday. Doomsday, I don't have... Uh, I have Jace Wielder of Mysteries. I don't have Thassa's Oracle, but I could get that. And him to Turok and Baleful Strix are great and all, but this is one time where I'm not going to try to wield the card I want. I'm just going to take it. I, I think that setting up a Doomsday win when you have Lion's Eye Diamond, uh, potentially Tendrils, Jace, it's just not that hard. Ooh, and there's High Tide. Perfect. All right, we're slamming High Tide here. Could use some blue-black lands, but this has been a pretty nice pack. I am not usually uh, in a position to draft a doomsday anime deck and this is a pretty good example of one i'm still very mad about that uh, that i uh, didn't take cabal ritual as it turned out but I, I like where we're at i mean we've got good amount of mana we don't have any big creatures to animate which is currently basically these three kind of four cards need a creature in order to function and i don't have that yet but we got plenty of time left here, and I, I like the storm aspect of the deck already. So could look, I could use cantrips, things like Gitaxian Probe, Gush. Uh, I guess Thought Scour is already gone. Ponder Preordained, anything where you can set it up so you win after your Doomsday, like if you draw a card. Gush is actually kind of the best for that. Would also like, of course, Ancestor Recall or Time Walk. Those are good with the Doomsday. Ooh, Mystical Tutor is also nice. I could animate Triplicate Titan. I, I'm kind of holding out for one of the better animates. It's just not good to Corpse Dance that. It does 9. Animate it, you end up with an 8-9, which is fine, but it's not quite good enough, whereas Mystical Tutor is awesome. I think I will take Collective Brutality over Palantir, though. Palantir doesn't seem like what this deck is doing. This deck's going to be a little faster. I will take Creeping Tar Pit over Grist, even with this Bayou and Verdant. So on our wish list, a big creature like an Atrox or Archon specifically one of those two or a tally one of those three would it be ideal I haven't seen any of those um a blue black land so a watery grave or underground sea which i don't believe i've seen i guess i'll just take a free retrofitter why not and let's see i suppose a thassa's oracle would be really nice oh wow urborg and reign of filth both wield they're both pretty good Urborg's great at casting Doomsday. Reign of Filth is great on your Yogwill turn. I'm going to take Reign of Filth. I feel like this is actually the Reign of Filth deck. I don't usually get to play that card. And I 
feel like I can I can do some some good stuff with that. Wow, last, second to last pick hex trigger. That is surprising. And here we yeah we're not missing that much. This deck this deck could range from be good to just absolutely busted depending on what we open here. Well, we missed on our first pick, so that's pretty disappointing. Um, I don't really want a hand disruption spell all that much. I might just take Xander's Lounge just to have a blue black land. I don't think Trop does much. Trop makes this untap blue or untap black, but specifically a blue black land for my high tide deck seems pretty good. So I will take Xander's Lounge here. All right, well, there's Dossa's Oracle and Shieldred. Okay, so here, this is a case of me being greedy, I guess. I don't think it's greedy, I think it's just right. I'm gonna take Shieldred, because that wins the game with Memory Jar and Time Spiral. Yeah, this is not even close to being close. And then I will almost assuredly wheel Thassa's Oracle unless something really weird is happening. So Shieldred is the, the start here. Oh, and there's Emrakul, which works really nicely with Corpse Dance, and Emrakul's big enough that it can end the game by itself. Part of the reason I don't want like Torsten or Triplicate Titan is this deck is not a reanimator deck that's going to reanimate and then play a couple of removal spells, maybe reanimate again. This is a combo deck that's going to have to have whatever it reanimates clean up immediately. Emrakul does way more of that. And I have Flash plus Corpse Dance as a 5-mana combo, and Tomb Corpse Dance as a 4-mana combo, and Brutality Corpse Dance as a 5-mana as a combo. So I'm going to take Emrakul here over Marsh Flats as much as I would like the Marsh Flats and uh, be happy with that. Mm, I also... Let's see... I've got Mystical Tutor to set it up. I have the draw sevens. Yeah, I mean, this looks this looks like... The, getting Shieldred and Emrakul really helped shore up some of this deck's weaknesses. The Animate Dead is actually a little sketchy now, but I, I can just turn one and Tomb Shieldred, turn two Animate Shieldred. That is also fine. So there's still some cards we're missing, but especially given these cards and the fact that we're going to almost assuredly wheel Thassa's Oracle, puts me in a pretty good spot here. Gush and Frantic Search would be, both be nice. I would still love Archon or Atali or Atroxa, but this deck feels like it's actually getting there. Oh, and there's Atroxa, perfect. Now our reanimation suite is basically complete. Yeah, they're, we're passing on a Chromox and a Shallow Grave, which we might even get the Shallow Grave back, but having Atroxa just kind of does it all. Oh, and Brainstorm. Brainstorm is the cantrip I think I'm looking for. It also has a lot of cool things to set up with like Lion's Eye Diamond and Mystical Tutor. Like there's just cool stuff you can do. So I'm gonna take Brainstorm here and then Ooh, do I take Snap? Snap with High Tide is a nice combo. Intuition is also a nice combo. Um, Malcolm. Malcolm doesn't actually work with the Emrakul. Works fine with Atroxa. Kaito also is a discard outlet. Let's see. How many cards am I at right now? I'm already kind of cutting cards, so I don't think I want Grave Titan. I think Snap could be a card I want and is also a card I could side in against things like Thalia or, I don't know, any sort of disruptive creature, scavenging ooze, you know, that sort of thing. And I need to cut a card or two. Because right now I'm playing 15 land, and this deck wants to play like 17 or 18 land. So I think I might sideboard the snap. Oh, I, Frantic Search is just amazing here. It's good with High Tide, it's good with Doomsday, it's good with Reanimate stuff. It's a zero mana way to get Emrakul into the graveyard. All right, so we're slamming that. What else do we cut? It's actually kind of hard. Like, all these cards are great. I mean, it could be Chart, of course, honestly. Chart is good post-Doomsday as well. Let's see. We kind of got everything. If there's one more card we could wish for, it'd be like a, just an eighth pick Watery Grave. I'm not even going to be greedy and say Underground Sea. Just, just Watery Grave. That seems very reasonable to me. Uh, instead, we got a Life Death, because I don't think I'm going to Trinket Mage for LED. I'll take Life Death, but I might just put Life Death and actually Collective Brutality in the sideboard. Because I have... Now that I have... So for Emrakul, I have Frantic Search, Chart of Course, Flash puts in the Graveyard for Corpse Dance 2. Uh, I think Deep Cavern Bat is a sideboard card. I already have a bunch of anti-aggro sideboard cards, so yeah, I like the Bat here. So I have these three ways to discard Emrakul to animate it. Oh, plus Entomb. That's also a really good way. So I have a, a zero mana way, sorry, with Frantic Search is zero, and Tomb is one, Flash and Chart of Course costs two each. Okay. That makes me feel not too bad about cutting the Collective Brutality, I think. But I still need to cut another card. 
Oh, I can cut Jace Wielder of Mysteries if I'm getting a Thassa's Oracle, because Jace is a lot more expensive. But I still need to cut then another card if I want to put this Thassa's Oracle in. Wow, Necromancy came back too? I, I still think it's got to be Thassa's Oracle. That, that card is just so easy to win with Doomsday. I even have, like, animates and stuff if I need to. All right, so... I mean, this is currently playing 16 land, so I just need to cut one card. Yeah, that seems quite doable. Let's get our last couple cards and see what's up. All right, let's snag Woodfall Primus as a potential sideboard card, though it doesn't seem very likely to me. And then here, uh, we're not playing the green for anything. This Bayou is actually just not even a card. I guess I'll take Hedron Crab, though. I don't think I'm going to do too much with that one either. And then likewise, there's a Vampire Hexmage as a sideboard card, or all, all these are kind of sideboard cards. I, now I'm not playing Red Man. I guess I'll take Intuition. I have Yogg. Well, last pick Troll? That's really bizarre. All right, well, I, I will take it. That is fine with me. All right, so building here, the Troll doesn't actually change our plans, funnily enough, because it counts as a land. I still need to cut one, though. I mean, it could also be Charter Course, but then we're getting a little light on discard stuff. There's Reign of Filth. But it kind of feels like Reign of Filth could do some good work on a turn where you uh, cast it as like a one mana, you know, add four mana ritual or something like that. On the turn you go off, you have five lands in play. This is a four mana net. That's pretty good. There's also play one fewer land because we have like Brainstorm, Charter Course, Frantic Search, One Ring. But I, this deck wants to hit its land drops pretty nicely. So currently, mana-wise, I want to play a lot of islands, but I also need a good amount of swamps. I guess I'm just going to kind of have to split it. So if I go 6-6, six, six, I'll end up with 9-9. Nine, nine. I mean, that's not too bad. And then that's 16 lands. Or oh, actually, it'd be 10-10 ten, ten, thanks to Troll. So I could probably go one less swamp, one more island, just to bias a little more towards having islands in play and i think 16 lands seems okay i don't know is there something i can cut because this is 15 lands plus a troll but i do have a dark ritual as well i don't want to cut animate dead i don't want to cut corpse dance i mean do i want to play life death it's good with atroxa it's not good with emrakul no i think i think i like where we're at here this deck looks sweet I'm missing that Cabal Ritual, but otherwise, I really like how this deck looks. All right, time for round one here. I would indeed like to play first, and yeah, I will keep this hand. This hand needs a reanimate pretty badly. I get to go turn one, cycle troll to get Xander's Lounge. Turn two, chart course, probably. Let's get that Xander's Lounge. Memory jar. Yeah, let's just chart a course and see what see what we find. Um, see, this is tough. Because if I draw Flash, I'll really be unhappy that I put Atroxa into my graveyard. But if I draw Animate Dead or Corpse Dance the other way, so I guess I'm just going to discard it then. Feels like there's more, there's more action that way. <laughs> Classic. All right, well, let's just cycle the Xander's Lounge. And then uh, see what we find. They're leaving up a counterspell anyway, but... All right. Uh, cycle Xander's Lounge. If I can find Corpse Dance, I'll be pretty happy. Reign of Filth and Doomsday. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, let's pass the turn, but we're not too far from being able to do something. Mox, huh? Turn four, but they haven't played a land yet. To Porcelain Legionnaire. Okay. I kind of feel like they're leaving mana up. I'm just going to cast Flash here. I don't really have anything else to do with Flash. All right. Uh, I'm not going to Flash anything into play. <laughs> it was it was worth a shot. Because now I cast Memory Jar. And if they counter the Memory Jar, then so be it. I would be shocked. Oh, that's, that makes total sense. They didn't remand the Flash because I could just cast it again. So they did have a counter spell. It just happened to be the one of the few counters where that wouldn't really work. All right. I'm going to play Jar again on my turn. Oh, Time Walk. Okay. Time Walk. And what else are they playing here? Into a Thieving Skydiver. Okay. We're in a bit more of a time crunch than I thought because we're going to 12. So we're not quite dead to Celestial Colonnade next turn, but it's 
It's something. Uh, let's cast Jar to start with. Oh, no, no plays. Because I think I could win. What I want to see is them animate this colonnade and attack me. I think I could win here if, if I knew they didn't have a counter. And let's see if that's what's going on. If they kill this Jar, I'm probably going to crack it. Oh, Othari. Basically the same thing as tapping out for a colonnade. It puts me to two here. Is that right? And I can still cast Doomsday if I want to. All right. Yeah, let's see how this goes. I think I'm actually going to be able to win here. I'm assuming they don't have anything. Let's draw. Mystical Tutor. Huh. So, what am I going to do? I could Reign of Filth plus... Let's see, so I have five mana. Rain of Filth got to go down to four. Sack of Mines go to nine mana. Cast Yogg will go down to six mana. Play a land, which now... I don't think I can sack to Rain of Filth anymore. So go up to seven mana. And then I can cast Doomsday going, to, going down to four mana. And then Charter Course going down to two mana. And I should be able to win the game off Charter Course... Let's see, does Charter Course Doomsday win me the game? Let's see, five, nine, seven, four, two. The Jar doesn't really do much. Well, I guess what I can do is I, if I've gone Reign of Filth, Yogwill, Doomsday, Charter Course, that's four. Because the LED doesn't do much because Yogwill is already active. But I'm going to be able to maybe not quite tendrils them. Two mana left after casting Chart of Course ha with Doomsday having resolved. Frantic Search doesn't do much for me. I can find Dark Ritual, but then I'm not casting Thassa's Oracle. But if I find Dark Ritual and Brainstorm or LED Brainstorm, and then I can LED the Brainstorm and in response crack LED. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, let's cast Reign of Filth. I guess I don't have to sack all my lands right away. I can just sack the land that I want to re that I'm planning on replaying. Maybe that's fine too. Yogwill. Mm, actually, I guess I should probably sack this because I, I want to Yogwill use all my black mana. Play a swamp. And this does not sack. Okay, so I could cast Reign of Filth off that swamp because it, it breaks even on mana. Um, and then let's go sack, 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 Doomsday. Going down to one. And Storm Count is four, but I don't know if the Storm Count matters too much. So I'm going to be able to chart a course here. So I have four, effectively four mana left. If I chart, I go to two mana left. I could chart and I could draw. I kind of want Corpse Dance. What if I draw, hold on. What if I draw Dark Ritual Corpse Dance off the chart of course? And then I cast Dark Ritual Corpse Dance. I get a Troxa back. Oh, but I don't have enough to... That doesn't give me enough to cast uh, Thassa's Oracle. Um, yeah, having Oracle in my hand instead of getting to put it in my deck is actually being kind of, uh, kind of annoying here. Or I could Dark Ritual Animate Dead. I've already played a land. Oh, oh, I think I... I think I have a solution... Let's see, I have four mana, I go down to two mana. Yeah, look, Dark Ritual, this is awesome. Dark Ritual, so I, I cor chart a course into Dark Ritual, Animate Dead, having two mana left. I Dark Ritual, I Animate Dead Atroxa, and then I use the last two mana to cast Flash and put Thassa's Oracle into play. There we go, perfect. So that means I want Dark Ritual, Animate Dead, so I have Instant Enchantment, Artifact, uh, Land, and I guess Creature will do Shieldred. Okay, done. And then on top, I'll put... It doesn't really matter except that Animate Dead and Dark Ritual are my two top cards. 
Go down to one. Sack this for... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it gets my graveyard. I had... The whole plan was this involved my graveyard. Oh. All right. That was... That was a meltdown. I'm sorry. I should have definitely won that. Some some way, shape, or form, I would have been able to get there. I just was so sure that I was going to get to use my graveyard. I made the whole thing kind of like with an incorrect assumption. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's get back in there, and I think we can get this match, but that was just, uh, that was unfortunate. I, I really just brain farted. I'm sure the whole time I'm doing this, you're watching this and being like, no, your graveyard's going away, you idiot. I thought I had such a cool kill where I go animate dead Atroxa to clear out the rest of my deck and then play, then flash in Thassa's Oracle, but it didn't work that way. So, all right, all right. Well, that's good to know. Let's, uh... I certainly, at the very least, that turn could have cracked Jar, like cast Rain of Filth and cracked Jar or something to, to figure it out. But, uh, all right, well, that was an error, but I think we can make up for it. Mm. I'm going to keep this hand. If I There's a lot of things I could draw that would make this hand awesome, including a Dark Ritual. Obviously, a Troxa would be nuts. Uh, Troll of Kaza Doom is not really what I'm looking for here. Probably just going to keep that in hand. I don't really see a big reason to cycle it. If I draw an animate or something, I can. Oh, now if I draw a corpse dance, I have flash plus corpse dance as a as a play. They played Fiery Islet as their second land, which is pretty costly. Lelia the Blade Reforged. All right, I'm actually going to cycle this now, since now that I've drawn Emrakul, I really don't see a world where... I animate this troll or play this troll. All right, they got a Teferi Time Raveler. Oh, there's a Troxa. So let's go the one ring because it costs more. Protects me from Lelia here. And I'll just draw now, why not? Player on Hole Breacher. Oh, and now we have Flash Atroxa, Animate Atroxa if we want to. Okay, Lelia Exiled Plane so they get to play their land. I'm still at 17, and they're kind of Raven Inspector. Okay. They're keeping their mana up. There's one ring here. All lands, huh? Um, Island. Let's cast Flash. Okay, this time I am going to put a creature into play. <laughs> Flash Atroxa here, and I get instant land creature sorcery. So Shieldred, um, as far as land, whatever. And then take Mystical, and I think I will take Duress. This looks great. All right, done. And then Duress you. And probably animate Atroxa as well, once this Duress does its thing. Remand the Duress. I mean, I guess I'll duress you again. I don't know. It seems better than animating here. Time Warp, Chandra, Torch of Defiance, Hellrider, Pyrokinesis. Yeah, I guess I'll take Time Warp. And I'll discard a Verdant Catacombs. And I guess probably just a Creeping Tar Pit. I don't know. It doesn't... I guess I could have discarded an Island, too. Okay, so they can attack me for six. If they want to attack me for nine, they can, I guess. Oh, Hellrider is going to be a lot of damage too. So if they play Hellrider, five, six, seven, eight, eleven damage. Yeah, that's that's a good amount. And then on my turn, I'm actually close to Emra cooling them. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, let's see what we want. I think I just get Corpse Dance. They exile the Cathar Commander, sure. Because I'm taking nine down to four. I'm going down to two here, basically. If I'm mystical for Corpse Dance, then I get to Corpse Dance Atroxa. And then I can animate Troll, something like that. What else could I do? I don't think I want Yogwill. I could just get Time Spiral, but it doesn't, that doesn't sound that good to me. Um, I could also Dark Ritual... But I think Corpse Dance being a Drain 7 sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go to 2 here. I'm going to cast this. No buyback. Put an Atroxa into play. And then Atroxa into... Okay, yeah. Reign of Filth. Tendrils. 
Uh, Doss's Oracle. I think I want my deck. That seems fine. Attack you for seven. And then I should be able to tendrils them out in some way, shape, or form here, right? Well, we'll see. Let's see. I have, if I play a land, I'll have three, then then a two, but I have enough mana to, I don't have enough mana to Shieldred plus Tendrils. I'm basically three, so two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight mana. I mean, I guess I could Shieldred, Reign of Phil, Shieldred, Tendrils, two spells, three spells, and then they die on upkeep, probably. Is that right? Let's see, if I play a land, I'll have three mana, go down to two off Reign of Filth. I mean... If that's the case, then I should play Shieldred first before using the One Ring. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's cast Shieldred. Draw with the One Ring. And if I draw a cheap spell, uh, High Tide at least breaks even, so that part's fine. Tap for blue, High Tide. Tap for black, and then Sack, okay. All right, managed to not screw this one up. <laughs> and uh, let's go to game three here and see if we can uh, continue to <laughs> not screw it up. I don't know, that was close. All right, so that was a turn six win. Uh, Contagion didn't seem that good. Snap is okay. I kind of like where we're at. Let's just uh, go with a slightly faster hand to game three here. I mean, this is a turn two troll. Turn two troll, and then that maybe that buys me a little time. Uh, I actually don't want to play Creeping Tark Pit because I want to cycle troll turn one and then animate dead at turn two. I think I'm just going to get basic swamp here. Thieving Skydiver, sure. And... If I drew, okay, and then drawing a frantic search is fine. I do have two ways to discard, so using the animate dead here like does cut off any Atroxa possibility, but a, putting a turn two five five into play seems like it's pretty good. And if they have like a Lelia, yeah, now it just stops the Lelia. Oh, they didn't attack with that either. That well, that doesn't really make too much sense. Um. Let's chart a course. I don't mind discarding here. Yeah, I'll just discard an island. Play a tar pit. Pass the turn. Next turn, I'm going to play Shieldred. And then with Frantic Search, Yogwill, and Entomb in hand, it feels like I got some action. Exiled Wooded Foothills. Okay, I'll block Lelia. Am I going to get burned out or something? Like my troll is going to get finished off with burn, I would assume. Yeah, it looks like. All right. That was that was an acceptable exchange, I will say. Let's hope this Shieldred sticks. That would be kind of nice. Thoughts says Oracle is not an ideal draw. Yeah, I'm good, waiting to get remanded. Oh, mana leaked. They have an actual mana leak, too. All right. Let's pass the turn. We're still at a lot of life. That Troll Gambit worked out pretty nicely. And Hellrider. All right, so we kind of got to do something here. Mana leak into Hellrider. All right. Um, I have Entomb. Entomb Yogwell technically lets me replay anything, but I don't know how good that is. Let's just start with Frantic Search and then see. Okay. Okay, well, I would imagine I could find a way to win here. I'm going to discard Verdant Catacombs and... Actually, I think it's Thassa's Oracle. Untap these three lands. I can High Tide. If I high, cast High Tide off Creeping Tar Pit, and then I cast Yogwell in Tomb. I want to know Black. Oh, I can Tomb for LED. Let's see, my Doomsday goes away at that point. I have one spell cast here. I'm looking at ways I can win this game. So if I go, I mean, I could high tide off island, so I have enough black, but then I only have five mana. Because I can, I can make a lot of mana here. 
look, look, if I cast High Tide off Tar Pit, and then I have six mana, and then I Entomb... Oh, I could Entomb for Reign of Filth. Then I have five mana. Then I'll cast Yogwill. No, then I, I don't have enough black, but what I could do... I could also... I could Entomb for LED, but then the Frantic Search doesn't get me any mana. No, I don't have a way to tutor then. Hmm. All right, I think I'm a little bit short of actually having a kill, but what I can do is I can go High Tide, Yogwill, Frantic Search, no mana floating. Draw two and maybe discard whatever. Uh, untap, and at that point I don't even need to play the Swamp. I can play Verdant out of my graveyard, or I could play Island out of my graveyard, but that doesn't seem uh, that like it's that good. Let's go High Tide, Cast Yogwill, cast Frantic Search, and then I could just cast Animate Dead on Shieldred and cast Charter Course or something along those lines. Okay, I think that's the best play, and then we save the Doomsday to try to win later. So if I cast Yogwill like this, and then I cast High Tide, play an Island, yeah. Yogg will. I think I just play Island. Tap this for two high tide. Tap this frantic search. And if I draw like a ritual or something here, oh, interesting. And at that point, I guess memory jar I could probably discard. And I could discard swamp. Untap these three lands. And that now I have eight mana. So now I can go, oh yeah, this is actually works out kind of nicely. Let's go animate dead on Shieldred. Get Shieldred into play. Cast the one ring. Yeah, this is actually pretty great. Draw, gain some life. Oh, I might use that later. And then chart a course, draw. Oh wow, what to discard here? Um, is it in Tomb? This is just infinite mana. At this point, I guess, I don't want to discard Turnabout, that's for sure. I guess maybe I don't discard in Tomb because that sets up an Emrakul. I could probably discard Turnabout because my high tide's gone. All right. So at the end of all that, I gained eight life, ended up with a Shieldred in play and a One Ring in play, so I'm protected. And then I'm set up to win with some kind of Thassa's Oracle Doomsday win, thanks to the One Ring, or like, because I can go Ritual, Dooms Reign of Filth, Doomsday, and then tap the One Ring to draw two cards, draw Thassa's Oracle and a card draw spell, and win pretty easily from there. And they kind of have to get rid of the Shieldred in order to progress. Let's see what they got. Palantir of Orthanc. They can't even put that on the stack this turn, because of, oh, Into Time Walk. Oh, that's a good play okay well I don't take any damage so i'll continue to not take any damage and they can't even use palantir because i have the one ring so it just it negates it entirely so as good as a palantir time walk turn is with a hell rider and a thieving skydiver in play the one ring was a pretty nice find there to prevent me from uh really suffering too much here this their deck looks pretty good i mean time walk Mana Leak, Remand, Lightning Bolt, Lelia. Pretty solid cards indeed. They're going to send here. Now I actually take... No, I still don't take damage because of the One Ring. In fact, I don't even really want to block the Hell Rider. The One Ring protects me until my next turn, so Time Walk doesn't even do anything. <laughs> they still can't Palantir. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, draw <laughs> an LED. Sure, why not? Um, I have one card in hand. Let's, let's just, we're just going to go for it. Dark Ritual, Reign of Filth, LED. Um, sack this for black. I guess just go to nine, cast Doomsday. Let's see, I want Thassa's Oracle. I'm going to draw two with the ring. So that means we have three cards left. So I can draw Brainstorm, Duress. Uh, tendrils and 
Do I even need a land? I don't need a... I guess I could take a corpse stance too. Why not? Draw. And then I'm going to put corpse stance, tendrils, Thalsa's Oracle, Brainstorm, Duress. Uh, draw with the one ring. Down to three cards left. Gain, gain some life off Shieldred while I'm at it. And tap for a blue, sack for a black. Dress you and this should be it. I even have LED for extra mana if I really needed it, but let's see what they've got. They got some some kind of action here. Their hand was a pyrokinesis. Oh, I guess I actually knew what their hand was. And then I have three cards left, so I'm able to cast Brainstorm. They don't even have a way to kill this Thassa's Oracle. Alright, let's put these back. Gain six and then. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could also storm them to death, but there's two cards left in my deck. All right, let's go Thassa's Oracle. Put Corpse Stance on top, and ba-boom! Ooh, a redemption arc after uh, quite of a messy game one, but this deck's fun, and these decks are hard to play. So cut me a little slack here as we move on to game two. All right, uh, I am on the play here, and... Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. I need to find a discard outlet so like chart of course or frantic search would both be pretty nice here in order to discard this atroxa if i draw entomb i can entomb shieldred and animate it if i draw a troll i could just have a have a troll in play probably turn three and other than that i mean seems like an okay start obviously a discard outlet would be pretty good oh flash would also be a great draw so and mystical tutor so i got plenty of things i can draw that turn this hand from a zero to a hero as it were all right point mold the six and i go turn one tar pit hey at the, at the very least turn three rain of fill sack two land animate tar pit get in there for three. Uh oh playing against mono white huh uh, time spiral isn't exactly ideal oh actually i should have played verdant and sacked it for uh Lounge of the Xanders. Xanders, place to chill. What is this? Hopefully not an Inti or a Thalia. Uh, Magda is a step behind those two, though still pretty good. All right. Any flashes? No. No flashes of genius. I mean, I am going to be able to, at this rate, ca just cast a... Turnabout into Time Spiral on turn 5, which has a pretty decent shot of winning me the game. Fortunately, Time Spiral and Reign of Filth are not really a combination. Roberto, alright. Uh, let's go get my Xander's Lounge here. And hope you don't exile Tendrils or Thassa's Oracle with uh, Robber of the Rich. <laughs> or Duress. Oh, that'd be filthy. Alright, get in there. Let's see, Robber of the Rich gets anything? What's going on, Robber? Swamp, nice. All right, so I take five, I'm at 13. Uh, I might be in a position where I'm forced to turn about their creatures next turn. No, that's pretty bad, because then I won't be able to time spiral. I still technically need to draw a land, though just drawing Flash would be so good. All right, I guess I'll just draw another land. I mean, so far my draws this game have been like two lands, a Time Spiral, and a Turnabout, which is not ideal, or, or a land, a Time Spiral, and a Turnabout, something like that. All right, well, I take another five, maybe six this turn, and then I cast a big Time Spiral, and uh, we go from there. All right, Robber of the Rich... Exiles, another land, okay, that's nice. So I take six, or take five here, I'm at eight, probably not gonna get burned out from this position right away. Obviously, maybe if after the time spiral I could. Hopefully they just play a creature that has summoning sickness. Oh, they're cracking a clue, even better. All right, no plays, let's draw ritual would be nice. <laughs> now I draw mystical. Even a turn ago would have been good. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, turn about my lands. Mm -hmm. Land, untap, and then I just cast Time Spiral. Doesn't seem like Reign of Filth does much for me. Boom. 
Time Spiral, let's go. We got outs here. Drawing high tide that turn would have also been amazing, by the way, but bolted down to five, sure. Okay, uh, this is something. Uh, missing a Xander's Lunch. Okay. Now what? Uh, I have a lot of mana. Let's just go for the win. High Tide. Lion's Eye. Reign of Filth. Uh, Entomb for Atroxa. Animate Dead Atroxa. Uh, sack this for a black, I guess. I want to keep my islands in play as long as I can in order for uh, me to get good untap equity because there's a high tide in play or high tide effect going. So if I find a frantic search or something here, oh, like I did. Instant creature land artifact. So definitely, yeah, I would imagine it's frantic search. Yeah. And I'll just take a land of discard. Take an one ring. So the question is, do I want Shieldred or Thassa's Oracle? Kind of feels like Oracle or Shieldred. Probably just Shieldred at this point. All my Thassa's Oracle wins involve Doomsday, which I can usually just cast at that point. All right, let's cast Frantic Search. Mm, discard. Two lands, I guess. Untap these three, and then now, oh, actually, no, I was supposed to, sorry, I was supposed to untap the island. Um, and then a million spells have been played, so if I found, if I found the uh, tendrils, I would just win, clearly. Currently, now, I have uh, six, ten, I mean, sixteen mana, if you count Yogwell. And LED, which I think I'm going to. So let's see, if I have one mana now, I guess I kind of want to Yawgle without sacking all my lands. So let's do that. Let's tap for blue, tap for blue, tap for blue. Sack this for black. I'll leave my Frantic Search lands. Cast Yawgwell. I don't even really need to duress, I don't think. Sack this for black. Okay, Yawgwell resolves. Play LED. Uh, sack this for black again, I guess. Um, I have 10 mana, but three more off the lands is 13. Also, if I frantic search, I do get to draw, but I think... So I want to cast one ring and tap it before I play frantic search, in which case I think I want to play shield Rid first. Do I have enough mana to do both? That's eight mana. I'll go down to two mana. I have to sack a land of Frantic Search. I don't like that. So let's just cast the one ring first. Because now I'm protected from everything on their next turn. So I don't really need to gain the extra life off Shieldred quite yet. If they kill me in response here, that would be cool. But <laughs> it doesn't seem super likely. I mean, maybe they... Oh, maybe they have a burn spell and they want to bolt... Are considering bolting me down to like two or something. I did not draw off one ring. Oh, turnabout. All right, let's turn about my lands. Oh, I can't, I can't turn about my lands because the one ring. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Uh, let's cast frantic search. Do I have enough to emrakul here? I think I'm one mana short. Is that true? Because I untap. Three lands. I have nine man. I have three mana. I cast high tide. I go into two mana. Tap these for nine mana. I go to eleven. I go to fourteen mana. Oh man, that's funny. Um, I guess I'll keep Charter Course. Discard Emrakul and it's gone forever. Yeah, that's probably fine. Wow, I'm one minute short because I untapped Creeping Tarpet instead of the high tide instead of the other one. That's really good. Uh, no, I think so. we're not going off this turn. I'd prefer not to sack the rest of my lands. So let's cast Shieldred. Let's cast Charter Course. Oh, no, I already used Charter Course. Uh, let's cast Shieldred. So Chart's in my hand. I'm such an idiot. All right, cast Charter Course. Because if I find that Tendrils again, I just win. Okay, so then discard Ritual. 
gain some life, and then tap this for blue, sack this for black, Whew, and then tendrils you for 32. What a fun deck. This deck's sweet. Uh, I, I've been <laughs> having a good time with this. All right. Well, we managed to win after a time spiral. Took a one ring and a troxa and a bunch of other stuff. Mm, Contagion looks a little better against this deck. They have some smaller creatures. Duress looks less good from what I've seen. So I think I'll just make that swap straight up. All right. Time for game two. I'm on the draw. I have an Atroxa and a discard outlet. No flash, no animate. I also have a Doomsday. I think I keep this. I don't know. Getting to cast Charter Course, like Cycle Troll, cast Charter Course. Feels like I see a bunch of cards. Atroxa makes a lot of my other cards better. They mulligan to six here. Let's go Swamp Go. I'm going to cycle the Troll and get Xander's Lounge, which I might even just end up cycling. Robber of the Rich, huh? All right. Come get... What are you going to get? Lion's Eye Diamond? They just passed so they couldn't reanimate it? Okay, or they couldn't cast it? That's weird. They just f 6 <laughs> There's zero mana cards exist, but... Uh, I'm going to discard Swamp. So the reason I'm not discarding Atroxa this time is because of... Flash. If I draw an Animate, I can Animate Troll... Corpse Dance obviously is not great, but if I draw an Animate, I can Animate Troll, and if I draw Flash, Atrox on hand is obviously much better. They got Yawgmoth's Will too? This Robber of the Rich is getting all my cards. Mm. So far, <laughs> I've drawn an Emrakul, a High Tide, and Lands. It's tough because they, I could certainly have Mulligan, these opening hands that need something, but then when I draw that badly, it's like, what hand am I keeping that wouldn't need a little bit of help? All right, Contagion is out too. Yeah, they're, they're getting some, some cards. I'm at 10. I mean, I'm still fine if I flash in an Atroxa here. Blade Splicer, huh? All right, flash. <laughs> I drew it with that. Oh, truly incredible. It's really just uh, it's really just awesome to see. All right, I animated the troll, I guess. I. I mean, sure, it, I, I played around drawing Flash versus Animate Dead, and uh, it didn't work out. Not that this is necessarily bad, but I don't feel good about this. I guess part of it is I also haven't been drawing any combo pieces. Like, had I drawn a Time Spiral, I would feel pretty good right now, because I could just cast Time Spiral and do something awesome. High Tide Time Spiral, they hit Mystical Tutor, all right. I mean, at some point, they, they could consider casting these spells. They have a Yogwill and a Lion's Eye. I bet they could actually cast... I bet last turn, they should have gone Lion's Eye, cast Yogwill, sack Lion's Eye, and then just play play some cards or something. I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to try to, to block the Robber of the Rich. And Ember Cleave the Goblin, or the, the, the Golem, and I die. Okay. That's fair. Draw, and it won't even show me. All right, well, I still think Contagion probably fine here. I mean, I guess there's an argument for Ophiomancer. On the play, maybe I want Ophiomancer more. All right, well, let's try this and hope we get a slightly more action-packed hand. Both my hands have been just a lot of draw go, but maybe I should mulligan more aggressively. Definitely open to that too. All right, time for round three. On the play, turn to Atroxa, baby. Uh, no, just a mulligan instead. Uh, yeah, this is also a mulligan. I don't have any lands. It's a shame I have that troll. All right, a mulligan to five. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep. I'm going to put... Oh, what am I doing here? Because I could... I, I could Mystical for Corpse Dance. And then I could try to set up Chart, Corpse Dance, Emrakul. Or I could Mystical... I think I'm going to put Emrakul and... Jar back. And then go, I'm going to go turn one troll, turn two chart a course. And then if I draw either in tomb or corpse dance, I can maybe set up a mystical for those. Otherwise, what I'm probably going to have to do is just. I mean, 
I don't think I wanted to do it. I guess I could have mystical for a dark ritual and just play, cast turn two doomsday. And now I kind of wish I had done that because I've drawn <laughs> all lands. Uh, I actually think I probably do do doomsday now. Let's see what they play. Robber of the Rich would be really annoying, actually. Okay, I'm at 19. And presumably they're going to play something. Usher of the Fallen. So if I Doomsday, I go to 9. They attack me down to 6. Yeah, and then but then what do I Doomsday for? I Doomsday for... I mean, I just have to go for it. Um, so... I cast Doomsday past the turn with three lands in play, untapped with a fourth land in play. And I draw one card. And that one card wants to be... I don't think it's Brainstorm. I don't have, and I won't have any cards in hand. I guess I could keep one land and I could keep the Swamp in hand. I could have Frantic Search on top. I could cast Frantic Search. So I draw to four cards, Frantic Search down to two cards. I have three mana. I guess oh, I would not have Duress in my deck. I was going to say I could be Duress Thassa's Oracle. Well, no, I only have one card in hand anyway. So I can cast a Thassa's Oracle and just hope that's good enough. And they don't have a removal spell. Alternately, so I'm going to want Dark Ritual. Yeah, alternately, I can draw and with four mana... Wow, this deck doesn't actually have too much of a card draw engine, huh? And I don't have any like one mana cyclers. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what I do. Uh, let's play Island, Ritual, Doomsday. Get Thassa's Oracle, Frantic Search, I guess Animate Dead. I could also draw Brainstorm. Hold on. Is there something... If I Brainstorm... Oh, I, I have a better... I have a better plan. No Frantic Search. Brainstorm. Uh, Lion's Eye Diamond. Wait, no, that doesn't... That doesn't work. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brainstorm into Lion's Eye Diamond. Oh, wait, no. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get this... Brainstorm into, into, Brainstorm, oh, into Flash Atroxa, and then off Flash Atroxa, I get Land, Ritual, Brainstorm Flash, oh, I, I, I can't have Corpse Dance, I can't, I can't do it all, because uh, if I Brainstorm, and then Keep Flash Atroxa as my two cards in hand. I'll have three cards in deck plus the Swamp. I can pick all of them up. I can put in Reign of Filth, Corpse Dance now. I wonder if not having an extra island is actually getting me here. I guess I'd just do the Thassa's Oracle Frantic Search plan then. All right, all right, all right. That's that's fine, I, I suppose. Anime Dead. Um... I don't even think LED does too much for me. I hope they just don't have double bolt. That would <laughs> that would suck. I could also play the ring, but I don't think the ring is that helpful either. So I think it is just Thassa's Oracle Frantic Search and then just hope that's good enough. I mean, I could draw Brainstorm. Brainstorm down to... So I draw down to four cards, cast Brainstorm down to three cards. And then if I... Or for a frantic search. Yeah, the problem is I don't have any cards in hand. It's actually pretty rough. Dossa's Oracle, frantic search. Four, two, yeah, I guess. And then I'll have an animate just in case. I don't know, Lion's Eye, whatever. Oh, I don't really want High Tide. <laughs> um, what if I draw Brainstorm and I cast Entomb Animate? Draw down to four. Entomb Animate, is that better? That doesn't really seem like it does much for me either. Let's just get another island just in case, all right. All right, draw, uh, island, animate dead, or actually, hold on. 
lines I diamond are actually lines I diamond, animate dead, island, Thos's Oracle, Frantic Search. All right. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I hope I don't get bolted end of turn. I hope they just attack and play a three drop. They can't rob the rich me now, which is nice. I have only one card in my hand. So that part is good. I guess the good news is if they want to leave up removal, they might have to tap out. Well, they played Mana Crypt, so that kind of interrupted that thought. But I was going to say, if they want to put more pressure on me, they maybe need to tap out. But I guess they don't really need to put too much pressure on me. I don't know. The, the great part about Doomsday, by the way, is like, I'm sure that there's some folks in the chat who have figured out better things to do than the things I've done. <laughs> some of these games, that's very much been true. Inti. Okay. Well, if they've got Lightning Bolt, I guess I die now. Because they, they needed, in order for me to lose, they needed to have a Lightning Bolt and a way to put an extra three points of pressure on the board here. Though that's not... Them having the Bolt is kind of the easy part. I hope they hit a one-drop they can play. They exiled Fire Blast? Uh, that's funny. Uh, what are they going to do? I, I guess if they have Bolt, I'm just dead. <laughs> I'm at five now, yeah. They they really exiled they exiled Fire Blast to kill me. And they had Chain Lightning, so they didn't even have the instant. Are you kidding me? They really exiled Fire Blast. Alright, well. Uh there we have it. One and one going into round three, but that was that was pretty lucky. They cracked a clue and then exiled uh, Fire Blast off Inti, and I guess that's how it's done. Oof, what a round. That being said, I think I actually should have just gone for the turn two Doomsday, so that that that's on me. Um, this hand has is a black mana away from Duress into Shieldred, but the rest of the hand is really bad. I think I will mulligan that. What do we have here? Oh, I'm going to keep this hand. Uh, I think... I actually think I kind of put LED back, which I don't normally like doing. The reason I want to do that is, oh, I actually should have played the other land. I, th I thought I was just cycling troll, and I, I am, but I, I sh should have just played the, because uh, now I'm going to get swamped instead of Xander's land. I should have played the island so I could mystical, because now my plan here is to mystical for, in absent a different, you know, something changing, based on what they played. I'm probably just going to Mystical Tutor for Dark Ritual and then cast Dark Ritual Memory Jar next turn and then cast Shieldred the turn after. Didn't love keeping the... having to put the LED back, but I drew a land, so that's kind of nice. All right. The Imperial Sealed. I still think this is what I go for here. Let's draw land ritual jar and then pass and I can go shieldred and nug for for a lot of damage here kind of depend on what my opponent does if they kill the jar I'm probably just going to crack it fill my graveyard for yog will that sort of thing chromox huh okay what do we got for four mana minsk and boo oh sneak attack Okay. Oh, there's Time Spiral. Let's go Shieldred. And I just guess I don't need to crack Jar now. I can do 14. I can basically put them to two. If I have to crack Jar at some point, I guess I'll be... It'll be... I'll be a little unhappy if I have to crack it. Not on my turn, but it's possible that a Sneak is going to force me to. I don't know. There's a lot of things that could sneak in. Titan of Industry. So the awkward part about this now is I'm giving them an opportunity to find more sneak cards here. But if they blow up my jar, then I guess I have to. They might gain life, I suppose. I'm at 20. Yeah, I will crack it. I think it's. I think I still have a higher chance of winning if I crack the jar here than if uh, I let that resolve. Okay, because I gain a lot of life here, and then they lose a lot of life. 
Okay. <laughs> I drew the Yogwell, unfortunately. I drew a dog. Um, they go to two. I go to millions. 34 or whatever. All right, all right. Let's see what else gets snuck into play, shall we? <laughs> Sneak in. Archon of Cruelty. Oh, I don't like that. Guess I should have just kept Crack Jar on my turn. Maybe it was too likely I was going to have to. Just wasting the whole jar didn't seem great, but this is also working out extremely poorly. So what are we hoping to draw? Mm, I'm not sure. Wasteland, sure. I'm taking 16 here and losing another. Well, I don't lose anything because I'm gonna. This is a jar hand. Okay, I mean the game's not over. Pentad Prism. Okay. I lose the the cards in my hand. They lose the cards in their hand, and then I'm hoping to draw. I mean, I have a time spiral in my hand. So I'm actually somewhat close to doing something. All right, and then those go away. All right, all right, all right, we got... Oh, I'm one island away from casting Time Spiral now. So if I just draw an island, then that, that's gonna be pretty nice. Opponent chose not to sneak in response to Jar getting cracked, so they might not have a good thing to sneak into play. Oh, that hurts. Took the turnabout. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and then exhuming Archon. Sure, and I get Shieldred. Yeah, all right. That's not going to happen. Frantic Search with no cards in hand is not going to get it done. All right, so. <sighs> Playing against a sneak deck makes me want, like, Bat. Probably not Collective Brutality, but Deep Cavern Bat might be good. Is there something I don't want, though? I kind of like how my deck is set up. I feel like on the play, I think I should be okay. All right, I would like to play first. Um, this has turn one duress, but it doesn't do anything after that if I don't draw a land. So I guess I have to mulligan again. Oh, man, I have to mulligan to five again. All right, oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess I'll keep this. Put Reign of Filth back and... I guess I put High Tide, or maybe I just put Lion's Eye back, actually, at that point. Well, if I draw a land into an Atroxa, then this, this hand could do something, but... Skull Clamp's not too scary. That's at least a little slow. All right, land is step one. Nope. I mean, if I just draw two, two islands off the top, this is actually a great hand, too. Island, Island, High Tide, Turnabout, Time Spiral, probably win from there. All right, Swamp is not an island, but it's, it's a start. Let's chart a course, Let's discard a Swamp. Okay, I don't feel great about this. Not playing a land on turn two is not usually correlated with winning games of Magic. So I think that, uh, I think this is not gonna go particularly well for me. If this had been an island, I, I could have actually time spiraled this turn. Okay, here comes Sneak. What are we sneaking in? I mean, this is also turn three Sneak in Torsten. Sure. Let's see. What'd you hit? An Atroxa? Yeah, I don't care. Uh, all right. Well, if I draw Dark Ritual here, then I actually think I've got a pretty good chance of winning the game. Let's find out. It's going to be Ritual or Bust, pretty much. Atroxa might do something. But... I'm just dead next turn, so. Mm. Let's go high tide. Brainstorm and concede. All right, well, that was a, a double mold of five is a double mold of five. That, that just is what it is. Um, this deck I think was was good. I did It did hurt not having the Cabal Ritual, but more than that, like, this deck was really hard to play, like, more, noticeably more than most decks 
I think game round two, I should have just gone upkeep, turn two, mystical, dark ritual, doomsday, and just tried to go for the win turn three. Still might have lost that, but I think an extra turn there, that's the whole point of the deck. I just didn't really see it until a second. And then round three, I just multi five twice, and that is what it is. But I do like the combo of doomsday, oracle. I like lion's eye. I like yog will with dark ritual and led. So this deck definitely had some good stuff going for it and some sweet games, but ended up falling a little short. I'm going to call this one pilot. We'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and say the credit belongs here. Whereas the deck had had what it took. But uh, round three, no, maybe round two I could have, I think, won. Round three, that is just you know, one, one of those times when you just multiply a bunch. But that'll do it for today. This deck was really fun to play. A little, little stressful, but, you know, that, that's what makes it fun too. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with another draft. I appreciate you watching, hanging out, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps out the channel and you won't miss a single draft.